and welcome in my Dunkelkammer, in my darkroom. Today I'm going to try an alternative recipe for black and white film reversal developing, positive developing, using Café Noël for first and second developer and uh, a bleach, a special bleach made from peroxide, hydrogen peroxide and acetic acid as bleach. I filmed some scenes on a Tri-X film, Super A, Super a Tri-X film, and I'm going to uh, take a little piece just like this, 20 centimeters or something about, put it into this Jobu tank and have a little developing. I'm not going to use the whole film because I don't really know what comes out. So I'm just testing, I'm just testing a test stripe. The test stripe is now in the Jobu tank and I'm going to prepare the Café Noël. Café Noël is going to be the first and also the second developer. It's some kind of extra strong Café Noël. Um, I need 250, about 250 milliliter of warm water. So the temperature of the whole procedure is going to be uh, around 30, 35 degrees centigrade. I started to, so here's some, can you see it? Yeah, some, oh, it's a little bit too much. Da -da -da. My bathroom is just around the corner. Welcome again in my beautiful little private bathroom, uh, dark, dark room. So it's not exactly oh, 0 0.25, 250 milliliter of water, scales. I'm adding 18 gram washing soda. In Germany we have at Rossmann, we have this Heidmann pure reine soda, pure washing soda for little money. 18. 18, more or less, one, two grams more or less, doesn't matter at all, don't matter at all. First soda, stir it well while pouring so it dissolves very easily, voila, already dissolved. Next is going to, to be vitamin C, seven gram vitamin C. Vitamin C hier in Deutschland kann man das auch bei Rossmann kriegen. Uh, was habe ich gesagt? Seven. It comes with the tiniest spoon of the world. Seven gram vitamin C. Here, seven gram is more than you would ever think. Whirl it in. Fifteen gram of any instant coffee you can grab. 15. Voila. And that's it. 15. It dissolves so easily and it smells so good. It's not so easy to, to have the right temperature the developer has to be quite warm, around 33 degrees, so I set up a, in bain-marie, bain like this, one pot full of very hot water, and I put my pot of coffee noodle inside the hot water bath, and now we are about oh, 38 degrees, so it's going to cool down very slowly while we're preparing the bleach now, bleach preparing, preparing comes now. That's quite a complicated thing because I figured out that the best results happen with 9% peroxide. Uh, it's not so easy to get it. I found it on the internet. I have this Söchting's Oxidator Lösung solution containing, uh, wo steht denn das hier? I don't know, ah here. For ponds, for ponds, 12, it's got the concentration of 12%. I need actually only 9%, so I made up the complicated calculation. Um, I need, you see, remember, 250, there's place enough, space enough and place enough for 250. 208, about 208 milliliter, 12% peroxide plus 42 milliliter water so it's going to dissolve down and in the end it's going to be like 250 milliliter 9% peroxide plus either 
13, per, uh, 13 milliliter acetic acid 60% or about 30 milliliter 25% acetic acid. Also remember 208 milliliter, I mean 208 milliliter measured in this uh, not precise jug, but well, it's a little bit more than 200 milliliter um, of this thingy. 200 is here, there is 210. So this is hydrogen peroxide with a Kindersicherung here. Be careful, don't sniff, don't breathe too heavily. 200 and a little bit. 200, there's 10, there's actually a 10 mark. <laughs> Doesn't stink at all, don't worry. 200 something, I fill it up with warm water to 250. Plus 30 milliliter, 30 milliliter. So here's the um, dissolved high class hydrogen peroxide, peroxide. Now coming down to nine, about. It's always about the about um, percent. And now we need 30 milliliter acid essence to um, 25 percent acetic acid. 30. Yep. 30. Yeah, stinks. Vinegar, hardcore vinegar inside. The cool thing is that for this uh, process of reversal, black and white developing, we need only a first and a second developer. And a bleach. We don't need a clear bra. Uh, of course, in the end, we need some fix. We can use regular regular fix of any any brand. Uh, we skip the clear bras because it's just not necessary. Um, and we can reuse the first developer as second developer too. And in uh, two and in between, there's the second exposure to light. The two solutions are now in two different containers with two thermometers. This is the strong coffee mold. We want to have uh, 35 degrees. We are at something close to 40. And the bleach, stinking a little bit. Acetic acid. We want to have it at thir around 32, uh, 33 degrees or 35 or whatever. And it is, um, well, it's not even 30, so we have to wait some time. And I'm going to add some hot water into this hot water. Bain-Marie. A bientôt. Was hat gesagt? 15 minutes. Ready for the bleach. 33 degrees, 17 minutes. It's up to 34. Okay, we're starting at 34 degrees. Ding, 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 ding. Pour it all in. Set the clock to 17 minutes, 16, hello, 17, and start. If you're worried that uh, the, tempera the temperature is uh, sinking down too much while bleaching, I mean, 17 minutes is quite a long uh, period. You can just set your tank. into a container of hot water. Zip. Yes. If you're a little worried, oh, can I bleed too much? Can I bleed too hot? Can it be too hot? Can it bleach too much of my film away? It's actually not really uh, possible because um, remember what you're doing. Bleach gets rid of silver 
uh, of the of the metallic silver. You see, black and white developing. La la la. First developer transforms the silver salts, the latent image, the silver salts into metallic silver, and bleeds, uh, bleach, <laughs> bleach, bleach, washes off, kills, gets rid of the metallic silver, so that only the um, unfilmed silver salts remain that can um, when you get when you do the second exposure get light and then they are developed so this is uh, in short words what happens with um, reversal processing and you can't really bleach too long because uh, bleach bleaches off the metallic silver and when it's gone it's gone even if it's, if it's 33 or 35 it doesn't make such a big difference that's what i learned with these all these alternative developings um it's a wide range splishity splash bleach time is over we want to keep the bleach of course Ooh, it's a little bit milky whatever that means Ta da da! Now comes the moment of truth. It needs a little watering after a bleach because we really want to get rid of the bleach remains. And here it is, our little film strap. Now look at that. You can see it? It looks almost transparent. That means it's okay. It's got that. Was near the camera. Yeah. It's got that milky milky semi transparent feeling and you can see images it looks quite good so everything has been bleached just a little tiny mistake but yeah it looks like really the the developed silver was bleached away i set up my lamp it doesn't have to be that bright achtung this is really super bright ouch this is so super bright you can as well go into the sun and hold your film against the bright sunlight or against any very uh very light light bulb to the sides and it's really transparent can you see it Kuckuck, yes that yeah that is here not so unheimlich starker halogen lamp i love it um, and again, you can't overexpose it, so don't worry. Try to hold it like two, three minutes, not too close, because we don't want it to melt. And again, you can see, I can see images. I can see the frames. I can see something on it, and um, it looks quite good. Now. The remaining silver salts are being exposed to light and uh, remember it was the silver salts that got no light while filming. The other ones that got light we developed them and washed them away with the bleach so the remaining silver salts are getting some light now. It's the dark one. The dark um, the dark reality that got no light while filming, while being filmed, they get light now. And when we develop it, second developer, they are going to turn dark. And that's what we want. We want to turn the dark reality into darkness. <laughs> turn the dark reality into darkness. And uh, I think that's enough by now. The room is already dry. I like this new perspective. Coming back from second exposure to light, we need to use the developer in our water bath. Blinzel, blinzel. Oh, I can't really sleep because I look too deep into the sunlight. It's about 35 <laughs> degrees. And well, second developer, you can do it with what, day, a daylight. It said, my recipe says 35 degrees, eight minutes. You know what we're doing. We're just doing it dipping the film stripe into the coffee. Don't do this at home. I mean, yes, do it. It's pretty warm. 
it doesn't hurt your finger it's totally okay it feels soapy though and um, the smell is malty soapy if you don't want to touch it all the time just uh, use a spoon so I forgot to set the clock but I don't care I just have it in my feeling I just watch it getting dark yeah it's getting a little darkish it's not really black so we give it another dip the perfect torch holder the perfect flashlight holder is a roll of, roll of toilet paper so like about three minutes developer I'm gonna do it live get the stripe out I can't really see it it looks like uh, it's not really dark I oh, yeah, can see it. It is not so dark, but it is a positive image. So I continue, continue a little bit and hope it's getting a bit darker. And if you're someone like me, not patient at all, you can hang your developer in a hot water bath. Just whirl it round and oh yeah, it's darkening a little bit more. The good thing about the um, reversal processing is that second developing it just can it's everything you can do everything with daylight you can hold it uh, it's gone a little bit darker it has been uh, like four or five minutes into the in the coffee knoll and I see images the margin you see there the edge the edges are quite dark brown not really black but I'm quite satisfied I give it another two three minutes I think it's enough now, so just pull it out, my lovely stripe. The good thing is if you think it's still not enough, just put it back into the developer. Put it back and give it some more 10 minutes or whatever. You can't overdevelop because there's nothing more than there is. That's cool, huh? There's nothing more than there is. This is so cool. and. Uh, do you understand that the, the fix you can give it a fix for a good feeling afterwards but it's not really necessary since there are no no more silver salts fix is washing away the silver salt maybe there are two three four silver salt molecules still sleeping so for a good feeling you can give it a nice nice fix but if not well no okay i would say success 